allow Soren to have options when he eats and I just let him decide what he wants to try without any pressure from me. Oh my god. Like some decluttering done today. I have two bins of costumes. This is gonna make me feel that much better to go into fall season with a lighter home, a lighter mind. Alright, I just got my hair redone this weekend. So you know what that means when you get your hair done, it's time to also get your life together. Right. He is loving his little sink lately. So we're gonna get that set up. Get the, can you get the cup out of there? Okay, good. There we go. He's got this color changing car. It goes from yellow to red. Lightning McQueen. And he's obsessed with changing the colors on it. Um, so he likes to get his ice cube to change them red. Turn the sink on, sweetie. No? Okay. We forgot the scrubby brush and soap. So we need that. Here you go. The sink's so cool though because you just put a little bit of water on the bottom and it just continues to recycle it so you don't have to worry about wasting water. Yeah. It is a beautiful drizzly morning out. I have been bitten by the decluttering bug this past week and have not been able to declutter yet because I've been busy cleaning and just catching up on regular daily chores but I'm all caught up with things now and I can finally do some decluttering today. So we are going to be decluttering and getting our house ready for fall and autumn. I don't know why I say fall and autumn, like they're different things or the same thing. I like to at least touch each room in my home for decluttering items because I definitely think I can get rid of stuff in every room and it's just a really good feeling to have a nice decluttered home for the holidays to get your home ready for bringing in the best time of year in my opinion. <laughs> I absolutely love fall. It is just a special feeling and having your house ready, prepared, clean, organized. I'm looking forward to it. So let's get some decluttering and getting our homes ready for fall going today. decluttering tactics that I use is whenever I have an empty box in my house I like to take that as an opportunity to throw whatever I want to get rid of for that week in that box and then at the end of the week it can go away and in this case since I'm doing my whole house I have about four boxes I might be able to find more now I like to have these guys filled up with things to either donate or sell or perhaps trash so we'll see I can't even get started yet and I'm already tired and winded just from chasing Soren around all morning and playing and that's completely okay 
I get to decluttering and cleaning when I can, but Soren always comes first. And I honestly am just trying to soak up every moment I can with him anyways, because I can't believe how fast he's growing. What was that? Soren! Oh my God. <laughs> Okay. Soren? 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 Are you alright? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, so we have a hot dog with mustard for dipping. Plum. Plums are so good this year. We love, we've been loving them. And then a little cheese stick. Pretty good, huh? Lunch is good. And then I'm gonna put together a uh, salad. We've been eating salads for lunch a lot lately, which is pretty great for a toddler to be eating a salad. So, um, of course, right today, he's really liking croutons, so. <laughs> but normally he's been eating the lettuce and vegetables. I've been doing a lot of avocado, tomatoes, cucumbers, and he's been loving it, so I'm rolling with it. More, 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 more. more? Okay. More, 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 more. There you go. There you go. I'm going to put the rest in here. Okay, Soren's taking his nap right now, but on the topic of eating food, I just wanted to say that I tried to allow Soren to have options when he eats, and I just let him decide what he wants to try uh, without any pressure from me. Um, and I just tried to give him as much exposure to different foods as possible because the more times a kid is exposed to food, the more likely they are to try that food. Um, so like the first time that they see a vegetable like squash or something, they probably won't even touch it. But after having it on their plate like three times, then maybe they'll like pick it up and look at it. And then maybe after seeing it a couple more times on their plate, they'll actually try it. So I just go kind of by that rule of just letting him see all the different foods, try it if he wants to, and really keep it just relaxed and not stressful. I don't want to make eating or mealtime stressful at all. Um, I want it to be like a positive experience for him. So that's kind of how I've been approaching eating. And he's been doing so great. He loves to try different food. Some days he'll like food and the next day he, that same food he doesn't even want to touch. Um, so it's pretty funny. He is kind of going through a picky stage and has his favorite foods that I know he'll always eat, like his safe foods. And then, um, yeah, like he enjoys trying different things. I think I originally got him into eating salad because he really likes ranch dressing and cucumbers. So we were like dipping cucumbers in ranch dressing. And then one day I was like, you know what, I might as well just let him have a whole salad because that's what I was eating for lunch. So I just gave him his own salad and since those cucumbers and ranch were within the bowl and he was used to those things, he just kind of ate a little bit of everything out of the bowl. And so I've been trying to give him salad a few times a week. Sometimes it works 
and it's a hit and sometimes he like doesn't want it at all and both of those are fine um but yeah we've been having a really <laughs> hectic week so i was a little backed up on chores but our cat rooney's had to go to the doctors a couple of times last week um she wasn't feeling well had some things going on so it was a lot of like going back and forth to the doctors with her and the toddler. Luckily, the our vet is still doing like a safe drop off, like no contact. Like they come to your car and get your pet for you. And so we were able to do all of those doctor's appointments without being exposed to any of those offices or being around people. So that was really wonderful. She's just needed a little extra TLC lately. By the way, I'm so cold right now, even though it's like hot outside. I don't know, I just get freezing in the afternoon after I have my lunch and I drink a lot of water. So I had to throw on my um, little, like it's technically a men's shirt, but I've had this I don't know, like 10 years or something. And I always wore it to my painting classes that I taught and um, to art school. And it's just so cozy, but um, I threw it over. I got this tank top from Target. I'm trying, I tried out a couple new tank tops and just like basic tees. I'm trying to move away from my graphic tees a little bit. Um, and this thing is so comfortable. I really like this high neck tank top. So I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> uh, so I joined a Sam's Club a couple weeks ago and I've been so excited about that. Uh, I was thinking about maybe doing a grocery haul the next time I go. I'm just blown away by how much stuff we can get for the amount of money we spend. We had a gift card to there. So it definitely helped us out and we, we love going, we, we love it now. I used to go to Sam's Club or Costco, I think it was Costco. I used to go to Costco all the time when I was growing up with my mom. So anytime I go to one of those places, it always reminds me of my mom. Okay, welcome back to day and number two. Just got busy yesterday, so I'm picking up where I left off and I'm actually getting some decluttering done today. I have two bins of costumes that I need to sort through and see what I want to sell, donate. I used to make a lot of costumes. I loved making costumes just for fun. It was like one of the main hobbies I had before I had a kid. And now I just have way too much and I I'm keeping my favorites. I'm not getting rid of all of them, but I definitely have some costumes and some items that you can make costumes with or you could make outfits out of or just do maybe arts and crafts with. It's just a whole bunch of random arts and craft type items and I want to pass them on to somebody who will actually use them. So today I'm going to go through these bins. I'm going to organize out where everything is going to go, whether I'm selling it or donating it, however it's going to be, and finally get rid of these two bins that have been hanging around and just nagging me in the back of my mind. They need to go. So let's get to it.
feel really accomplished to get all of that stuff out of the bins, take photos of them so that I can post them on probably Facebook Marketplace later on today. I did remember that I have a couple of like kids costumes that was donated to me when I was getting a pickup for Soren one day. And it's stuff that is way too big for him and I don't think he'll wear, so I don't want it hanging around the house right now. So I'm gonna go grab that stuff and then I'll also grab my boxes that I've been throwing all my donations in since yesterday when I'm whenever I just like was cleaning my house and saw something that I don't currently use. I was just throwing them into those boxes. So let me grab those and I'll show you what I have. So I have a few kids costume items and I just don't think Soren's going to wear these. He doesn't really like hats, so it doesn't make sense for me to hang on to those whatsoever. And then this is one of the boxes I was filling up this week whenever I ran into something while I was cleaning um, that I didn't want to keep. I threw over here. So I have a couple of shirts, just like an asymmetrical top. Um, I mean, I wear it every once in a while, but I never feel comfortable in it. I don't feel like it's flattering. This is a graphic tee that I wear every once in a while and I like it. Um, it has like an old school sewing machine and this was uh, screen printed by a local artist. <laughs> and I, I really love it and I feel terrible <laughs> just giving it away or donating it. But I have so many graphic tees and I'm trying so hard to pick some out every week or so to get rid of. It's just, I don't know. I'm So I'm just kind of like sitting on that thinking about it. <laughs> And then I have a bunch of office supplies. Like I do not know why I have so many sheet protectors, but we have so many. I found a binder. I found, I've had this little like planner schedule thing. I feel like since middle school or high school, I've used it a few times and I love it and I always mean to use it and it's just has never worked for me. I always have like my other planner with the actual month and dates in it. So it's just kind of been an extra thing. Um, and so it's just time for it to go. I just don't use it enough. This is an alien pop from, it was like a loot crate exclusive. I love aliens. This guy's super cool, but doesn't bring joy for me anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to be passing him along. And then a couple other things I just found. A stapler. And then when I was cleaning through my makeup, I have some old foundation. And I've kind of moved on to a different brand. So I don't know if anybody has use for that or not. But I'll see. That's pretty much it for now. I think this is a lot. Thank you for hanging out and decluttering with me again. I feel like this was pretty successful. Now I just have to arrange all of this to be picked up. So, hard part's done, right? This all, all of this is going away. I don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside, I feel like I really accomplished a lot over the past 24 hours. This is going to be such a weight off my shoulders to get this stuff out of the house and into somebody else's arms for the holiday season, especially for Halloween so people can actually use these because we're not going to be using them. It's just going to make me feel that much better to go into the fall season with a lighter home, a lighter mindset, and honestly, I just can't wait to get down my fall and autumn decorations, which we're doing this weekend. So, so make sure if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you'll know when I upload my next video. And take care, stay well, and I will see you next week. Bye! Bye.